Well hello everyone and welcome to my garden and countryside channel and in this first little video I'm um, showing you some dahlias here that I've got in my garden and I just wanted to say what wonderfully easy plants to grow are dahlias. Um, I think I think they have just started thankfully to come back into fashion a little bit I think people are finding how easy they are and how colorful uh, they can be um, there's so many varieties cactus um, decorative um, large small you can even get bedding sorts for tubs uh, the variety is immense um, I must be honest I always um, buy them in tuber form and set them in pots in the greenhouse and get them going and but you, you can buy the tubers and put them straight in the ground and as long as they have some water they do like a, a bit of water particularly in dry years like we've had this summer they will do well for you in any soil i do occasionally give them a very cheap liquid feed um, perhaps sort of once a month or twice a month and that's all um, they seem well suited to my kind of soil which is quite a heavy clayish soil and they, they, they do equally well in that um, and um, the colours and as I say the variety is, is immense and um, I look around at people's particularly front gardens these days and where I live people's front gardens are so devoid of colour these days you know most have been paved over or tarmacked over or block paved over and people don't seem to have any colour and um, you can see here I'm this is a dahlia grown under an apple tree so they will even tolerate a certain amount of shade in certain places they're amazing plants and um, I would recommend everyone to have a go next obviously it's too late this year but next year go out and get some dahlias um, this is the bed I've got on the front garden and um, there again it's dahlias uh, Cosmos and Rebecca with spreading begonias on the front. The darker leaved dahlias are the Bishop series. That's Bishop Landuff, the um, red one. There's there's quite a few bishops in in that series. I don't know them all. Um, there's a little orange one down the front there as well, and um, and the bees just adore these smaller um, flowers uh, that these have on these small single flowers. These are full of bees day in day out from sort of first light till it's virtually dark and um, it's been so colorful as I say and um, basically all it's been done is probably watered every other day um, um, in, in, re in the really dry hot spells and it's survived the really hot dry weather this year as you can see and it's been so colorful so there we go I would recommend go out and have a think and then next spring seriously think about setting some dahlias in your garden because they are so good value as a garden plant. Thank <laughs> you. 